The dungeon contains some of the best gear in pre hard mode, but anyone trying to get in without killing Skeletron is gonna have to deal with dungeon guardians. And they'll kill you instantly, and repeatedly. As a result, getting into the dungeon is gonna require some creativity. I had to come up with this strategy during the lawnmower only run because I desperately needed to get a cobalt shield as soon as possible. Dungeon Guardians replace everything that would spawn in the dungeon once you get underground if Skeletron hasn't been killed. And enemy spawning has a pretty simple check, if there are too many enemies already near you, it won't attempt to spawn more. In the dungeon, this number is 15, although some enemies take less than one spawn slot. So that means if we have 15 spawn slots worth of enemies near us, Dungeon Guardians won't be able to spawn. That's the first piece of the puzzle. The next is finding enemies that we can comfortably take damage from repeatedly and that can follow us into the dungeon. Since you're going to be taking damage, you're going to want to have high defense. Be sure to take an iron skin potion, a well fed buff, and have good armor and defense boosting accessories. 30 should be enough for the lower difficulties on master or legendary, you're going to want a bit more. I would shoot for 40. You're also going to want to have good HP regeneration, with a regeneration potion and some healing potions in case you get wounded. There are two good candidates for amassing large swarms of weak enemies. The Eye of Cthulhu spawns Servants of Cthulhu quite frequently, and if not killed, they will amass to large numbers, up to 199 if given enough time. If you summon the Eye and wait for about 30 seconds, you'll have enough Servants spawn to shut down additional enemy spawns. They'll leave in the morning though, so bring a watch and keep an eye on the time. 4.30am is when they'll leave, and you'll have a few seconds before Dungeon Guardians start spawning as they fly off screen. If you're on the Remix Seed or get Fixed Boy, there will be no time limit, so you can stay in the dungeon as long as you'd like. The servants can go through walls, so it won't be a concern having them follow you around. If you spawn the eye right at 7.30pm, you'll be able to enter the dungeon at about 8pm safely, although I would wait until 8.15 just to be on the safe side. The second option is to use bees spawned from beehives, which are crafted with hive blocks. These won't despawn in the morning, but you're going to have a little more trouble having them follow you around, and they also inflict the poison debuff. With either of these two enemies, you can prevent dungeon guardians from spawning, but you still need to get through the dungeon, get through cracked bricks, find golden keys, and find the treasure that you want. Golden keys can be obtained by breaking pots and in wooden chests, but using any weapons to break pots will risk killing the servants or the bees. Instead, use a grappling hook to smash the pots. Similarly, spamming a grappling hook will break through cracked dungeon bricks. That means that we can get keys from pots and any wooden chests we come across. If you need even more keys, you can shimmer dungeon brick walls, which are crafted at a heavy workbench with dungeon bricks, which can be broken with any pickaxe on the surface, and put them behind any pot in the world. This will let the pot drop dungeon loot. I don't know the exact placement that you need, but I put six walls behind each pot. Be warned that these walls will not be able to be broken until Skeletron is killed. Lastly, we just need to find the dungeon treasure that we want. And to do that, knowledge of how the loot generates will greatly help. Dungeon loot generates in a specific order, and then loops at the end. If the dungeon has a wooden chest in it at the beginning, it will replace the Muramasa in this list, the first golden chest will instead have a cobalt shield. The order of loot generation is Muramasa, Cobalt Shield, Aqua Scepter or the Bubble Gun on Remix or Get Fixed Boy, the Blue Moon, the Magic Missile, the Valor, a wooden chest with a golden key in it, and then the Handgun, and then it repeats. So, if you're entering the dungeon in Wanamuramasa, the very first golden chest will contain it, unless there was a wooden chest at the beginning, in which case it won't generate until after the handgun. The problem is, the dungeon generation gets pretty twisted after the first few rooms, and it can be tough trying to keep track of things. You can almost always guess the location of the first Muramasa and Cobalt Shield, and then after that it gets tricky. If you want a handgun, look for a wooden chest and then the gold chests around it. It'll be generated right after the wooden chest. For instance, I see a wooden chest here, so I go through the dungeon looking for the next chest. I hit a fork in the path and I choose to go down and then open the next chest I see. It's a Moomasa. That means that I missed the golden chest with a handgun, so I can say with certainty that the other path at the fork in the dungeon has the handgun since it'll loop around to the Moomasa for the next chest. The shadow key will just randomly generate in any of the golden chests, and if you open a chest you can guess what items will be nearby using this ordered list. But again, it's not an exact science and the dungeon generates in a messy way. Unfortunately, I don't think it's possible to fish up dungeon loot this way. I'd also suggest having extra bees or servants of Cthulhu in case a few of them die. Once you drop below 15, dungeon guardians will spawn. You can also go ahead and grab a bewitching table and an alchemy table while you're here. And that's how you can get all the loot in the dungeon without even killing any of the bosses. I wouldn't be surprised if this gets patched at some point, so if you're watching this well in the future, I'll put down in the description whether or not this still works. Well, I guess I have to go back to this now. There are 15 servings per container, 200 calories per serving. Like, this is not- this is not breakfast! It's just a crumb cake! It's breakfast and dessert are not interchangeable, you can't just- Just call something breakfast! Swarthy and sinister were most of the strangers, yet among them, 
one might find the faces like those who fashioned the street and molded its spirit. Hope had departed.